Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and I wanted to share this really fantastic story with you. This is a sacred Blackfoot story and it's called The Lost Children. And this story is about orphan children who uh, wander a little bit around the earth searching for their home and eventually come to find a home with the Pleiades stars. So I'm going to share this story. This particular rendition is by Paul Goebel, um, but it is an, a very old story that has been passed down for many de generations. I'm going to read it as is so you can just feel the energy in it and see what it brings up for you. And uh, as I do this, hopefully you'll be able to see the pictures nice and clear um, and the, the change in size as we go. So here we go. This is a story about the world which is above our world. In the old days, it was told after dark. We, were we would close our eyes. We could see back to those early days. We are sitting on buffalo robes in the teepee. The fire at the center casts our flickering shadows on the painted lining behind us. Someone takes a red hot coal from the fire with wooden tongs and places it on the ground in front of the storyteller. A little dry sweet grass is dropped on it filling the lodge with a sweet smell, which pleases the good spirits. The storyteller slowly washes her hands in the smoke and then passes them over her head and body to purify herself. She is ready to begin. The star people are looking down at us through the smoke hole and will hear the truth of what she says. Children are given to us by the great spirit. Yes, they are God's greatest gifts. And yet sometimes we forget and we are not kind to them. This is a story about what happened when the people did not look after six little children. A long time ago, there were six children who were brothers. Their mother and father were dead. They had no home and no family to look after them. They slept and ate in one place today and another tomorrow, and they were always hungry. Their only clothes were what people had discarded. Although the children had no family, the camp dogs loved them, and they loved the dogs. They played and wandered around happily together all day long. They helped to look after each other in many ways, and when night came, they often shared the same bed. Nobody was kind to the brothers. Nobody wanted them. Other children chased them and threw stones and laughed at their ragged clothes and tangled hair. Each year, it was the custom for families to honor their children by giving them little yellow calf robes after the early summer buffalo hunt. But nobody gave new robes to the brothers. The other children flaunted their new robes and fine clothes and teased the brothers in their ragged clothes. Shabby old bulls, they called them. The children were sad. They wanted to find another home. They did not even wish to be people any longer, and so they argued among themselves about what they should be. Let's be flowers. No, the buffaloes will eat us. Let's be stones. Stones break into small stones. Well, let's be water. No, animals and people will drink us. Let's be trees. Trees are cut down for firewood. In the end, they agreed to be stars. Stars remain forever. We will always be beautiful. People will watch us and they will know when the seasons are changing. One of the children led the way to the sky. Shut your eyes, do not look back, he warned. He blew a feather into the air and they were lifted toward the above world. One of them did look back. He is now smoking star, the comet. When the children opened their eyes, they were standing on a beautiful prairie in front of Sun Man's teepee. They entered the teepee, and the inside was as big as the sky. Sun Man was at home with Moon Woman, his wife. He asked the children why they had come. People were unkind to us, they answered. Nobody gave us new yellow calf robes. We only have old clothes. We want to live where people will be kind to us. We want to live here. Moon Woman wept and clasped them in her arms. My poor lost children, she called them. Sun Man was angry. 
I will punish the people who have not looked after these little children, he said. And he shone down on the earth with terrible heat. The grass died, forest burns, and ponds dried up. The earth cracked open and hot winds blew clouds of dust. People and every bird and animal as well suffered dreadful thirst. One morning before the sun rose, the dogs began to howl. First one, and then all, looked up into the sky and howled, and even the wolves and coyotes joined them. The wise men told the people, the dogs are sad and lonely because their friends, the lost children, have gone to the above world. They are telling us, you never looked after them. You only gave them what you did not want. Now they're stars. The old leader of the dogs looked up and prayed. Listen to me. Have pity on my dog people. They are hot and thirsty. Everyone cries with thirst. The buffaloes walk all day long searching for grass. The butterflies are looking for flowers and the birds are flying away because there is nothing for them to eat. We are dying. We want to live. Give us rain. Sun man looked down and saw how the birds and animals suffered. He was sorry. He had only meant to punish the people because they had not been kind to the children. He covered the sky with dark thunder clouds. Swift flying swallows darted with the lightning and brought the rain. New life came once again to the thirsty earth. You can see the lost children in the above world. We call them the Pleiades, or the bunch stars, because they are close together, just as they always were when they were on Earth. How beautiful the children look, and yet how very far away they are now. If only people had remembered that all the little children are gifts from God. You can see many small stars close to the lost children. Astronomers say they have seen more than 400. Those are the camp dogs who found their friends, the children, again at last. That is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed. I think there's a lot of parallels um, to this story and our children and, and what's happening in the world right now as well. Love to everybody.